Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty with Grandmaster Mode enabled. We're very soon going to have a Grandmaster's response. Uh, we're, as always, completely out of requisition, so let's earn three requisition and uh, see if this level three bolter is any good. If not, that's fine. We are mainly here for the servitors to begin with. You gotta take less than 40 damage, which I think we will do. And we got a full um, Terminator armored squad, which is funny. It's the first time that we do have it. Dan, Jarangs, Grell, and Nikki Zero are going to go in. I like that. I like it a lot. Uh, we got our willpower, we got higher sanctuary, which will help us to not take that much damage. And we got strength of the spirit. Uh, which I think whether or not we rather want uh, Tide of Shadows because that purification is not bad at all. Or maybe we're dropping the willpower. Uh, Librarian has 17. Can easily get three back. So that's four teleportations. I like Tide of Shadows. It's good. It's it's really good. All right, and that means we are going to go into the mission. Here we go. The Ministerum transmissions are peculiarly coded. Numerous inconsistencies, deceptions, and lies. The cathedral is infested. Most assuredly, our enemy is here. We must honor the Imperium's loyal servants and sanctify their remains once we put an end to their suffering. All right, uh, we got two bloom spawns, one on the right hand side and one on the left hand side. I know this map very well because we've played it a couple of times. And this time we're doing it without an interceptor. Heavy armor only, so this is going to be a lot of fun. We are beginning to charge in. The idea here is that our apothecary should take as many kills as humanly possible. We don't have the OP support fire, nor do we have the option to straight up kill someone uh, with an interceptor. So we got to be a bit more careful, a bit more measured in our approach. I think we're just going to go uh, straight here. The advantage of four times Terminator armor is cover becomes less of a subject. Yes, Commander. Standing ready, yes, Commander. As you will. We're basically just running up at this point. Well, that's going to be our first engagement. That'll be our first engagement. And as you would have expected, of course, they're not making it easy for us. Last time we checked, there was a second patrol up here. What is your will? Ooh, we got the Vortex of Doom now. My blade is yours. Good, well, Standing listen. Ready. First of all, everybody needs to get up here. Enemy sighted. 
All right, time for us to pull the strings of the spirit. Secondly, Tides of Shadow. Thirdly, High Sanctuary. There we go. And now we're really, really tanky. Meatball comp. Meatball comp. Well, that's not bad either. If we had a better way of getting back our, uh, our spell points, I would immediately do that. Uh, we got Hela Skulls. Oh, huh, I forgot something. Oh, I'm stupid. Seeker Service Skulls. Uh, does that still apply here? Let's test. Oh, yeah. It applies vulnerable. It's not bad. And since we do have enough ammo, might as well try to apply vulnerable over here. Cool. More damage, always good. I think I like uh, the uh, skull so far. Standing ready. Good. We don't have a lot against Overwatch, uh, though. So a couple of things. Number one, Extractor Skull. Give me that sweet, sweet extraction. This is coming with me. What is your will? Number two. I don't care that you're hitting me because I have more armor than uh, your little puny damage. And instead, we're just going to teach you a lesson. That was good. And now that we're ready, I need to get these guys out of the way. Okay, cool. My um, blade is yours. I know how to get you out of the way. Wait a second. Um, good. Destabilize and push back. That is so good. Yes, come on. Unleash me. Down. Good. Range weapon goes. Perfect, two hits, both of them set him up very nicely. And like I said, we want our apothecary. Let's get this guy down. One. Stuff on the ground, I see. Librarian, uh, what are we going to do? 
We're killing this guy. Too convenient to not do it. This will get us hit. Um. I tell you what, um, if I warp charge this, we're looking at plus five stun. And how many hit points does he have? 21. Yeah, that is enough. Oh, come on, really? No match for the Emperor's Chosen. Easy. Extra stun. None may say our wrath. But we're warp charging because it's a difficult fight. The Emperor lights our path. Normal strike. Disable his melee weapon. And now we do have an execute, which is what I wanted all along. There we go. I am the Emperor's Fury. Moves up. Supports you with warp speed. This guy is vulnerable. I like the team. It's a bit different than the one that we played before, but we're still doing fine. Uh, I've never fought against him. But Psychonet might be a good idea to just look at what that thing is doing. Um... Gain additional random mutations. Melee auto, strike and chase knight, deal two damage. Next turn the knight will be killed. Uh, jumps into an area. Okay, that all sounds really, really nasty. Oh, How about... Oh. Yes, Commander. Uh, I was about to say a Halo Skull would be great. What is your will? Which we now cannot do anymore. Hmm. Unleash me. Can no longer use death leap. Inflict panic. Can no longer death spin. Or we're making it vulnerable. Uh, let's remove his stupid arm. That's a good start. Panic it. I am his. I strike true.
nice little uh, defensive team here. Good. We can't just get afford that uh, much. I'm here to serve. But we can allow you. Hit that thing and continue it to uh, to let it mutate. My focus fails me. This command. Good. Nick Zero will be the one that is going to kill this thing. But it is now ready to be killed. Nikki can do that, but before we're doing it, uh, the guy that is going to teleport us in next round needs to get into position. Just in case, getting into into range, and why can't we keep destroyed? Huh? Where? So that thing cannot be executed, which is interesting. We're still on the same turn, by the way. I got one more strength of spirit. Okay with letting it uh, go for one turn, I suppose. Standing ready. Moving out. My blade is ever ready. Okay, so let's use that seeker school. Big fat Nurgle beast. Yes, Commander. And I would just say we're waiting for now. End of turn. The We can deal with uh, the reinforcements, it's not a problem. Urge the beasts. I uh, don't want to deal. We travel a 
um, with a lot of uh, these enemies, but here we go. All right. Hey, let's go. Uh, just seeing if we can eliminate any of those. Uh, the big guy is immune, but the rest is not. Let's start with the big guy. Let's start with the big guy. Um, I said four strike. Let him see the arrow of his ways. More stun. Can we perma stun him? I don't think so, but we're going to find out. That's one. Let's extract the seed. I pull the seed from this rot. Continuing to stun. Yeah, we're dealing damage faster than our stun. At your service. Yes, Commander. Let's take this one out, and now our healer will be getting the kill. Like I mentioned, we're trying to keep the kills uh, to them. That's like how much? Uh, 100 XP? I think it was 100. Four XP, nice. Okay, cool. Listen, now is a good time for a warp overcharge. The Emperor lights our path. Good, we're going in against the priest. One. Now nah, I can't afford to cyborg. I need um, the extra willpower. Two. Good, uh, sure. <clears throat> nice little ranged attack, down to four. 
And that should be a kill. I think the eyes are not doing much by themselves. Melee weapon needs to go. There you go. Fantastic. Your command. No match for the Emperor's chosen. Yeah, we don't want him to resurrect, so I suppose that's a good idea. They come to their doom. Nice, another beast. Hundred percent resistance that makes it a bit more difficult to deal with them. Yes, Commander. One. And does that regain will points? We are no. And the answer is Clearly no. Another one down. What is your will? What is your will? And once. Let that thing come. It does have a leap, but I think we should be fine. Firing on target. Ammo depleted. My blade is yours. All right, one. And two. Justice. And three. Terminated. As you come on. And we're standing a little bit further apart. There's the jump. And now we can work with that thing. Unleash me. At your service. And company. What is your will? Are we still having the crit? No, we don't. Your orders. I'm here to serve. Moves to here. Gives you a buff. Nice little warp speed. One. Uh, I think. The fleeing for one turn is the highest priority for the first iteration. Then we're afflicting vulnerable, so that's actually quite good. Then 
we're afflicting bleed. A crab claw isn't bad either. Then we don't want that to be because the thing shouldn't be getting away. Red blade is yours. Nice little hit. And our apothecary takes it down. Good, we got one more teleportation left, which is, by the way, all we need in order to finish this mission. So far, the team has been working well. Uh, there is definitely a noticeable uh, reduction in just the uh, quality of life towards just playing the same thing with the interceptor because you need to babysit uh, the paladin into melee combat but that being said for a level 2 character who's only being carried by his equipment the paladin is doing a fantastic job the hammer uh, together with uh, the armor uh, that basically allows him uh, to spend hit points into all of his strikes. It is a very, very potent combination. I'm happy that I opted for that. The big plus uh, with uh, the hammer is also the hammer itself has like four extra crit damage, what made which makes it crazily powerful. And together with uh, the melee warp uh, surge, you're getting a lot of um, leverage just out of that. Warp speed, not warp search, but yeah. Standing ready. Be ready. At once. So we're going to engage this turn, make no mistake. I just want to make sure that we some of them vulnerable. There we go, last teleportation. Good. Yep, yep. What are we waiting for? Thank you. That is the extra crit. Spent. 
that's 100%, 90%. Okay, well, we're very likely going to kill him. So, which means we still have time to get to you. Da, 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 da. You nasty fat thing. I must refocus, Commander. What is your will? Sorry, Oh, should have overcharged it to give him an AP. There you go. What is your will? We're taking the bolter. Bomb. And two. Good crits. Love it. I am here to serve. And that's another 40 experience. Fantastic. My blade is yours. And I think we're ending it now. There we go. Oh, I should have extracted that one uh, more uh, bloom spread. But it's okay. I think it was a good mission. Feeding the apothecary a lot of experience. And we did not take a lot of damage. The only damage that we took, matter of fact, was the one that the paladin just dealt himself. By continuously draining his life force. Cool, so uh, the Bolger. Good weapon range, uh, can get up to 17 weapon range, that's crazy. And can get up to plus 3 crit and has five base damage hmm let, let me think that through that could be something for our ranged team Ooh, that is good we have never had uh, crit on ranged attacks. Should I just take level 2 instead of level 3 here? Oh no, wait, 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 wait. We have that. We have that. My bad. We did, didn't have it for melee attacks. Hmm. I like the idea of an ultra long range uh, bolter. Uh, don't get me wrong, that is good. And this thing here has plus 3 crit damage. So that in itself, bueno. I think for someone who crits a lot, this is a good weapon. Um, and the 17 range are not to be scoffed at. The problem is that range isn't everything. I noticed uh, that early in the playthrough where oftentimes uh, cover is a bigger obstructor. So we're passing on this one. We're passing on that one. 
Wow, look at Nikki. Almost got two levels out of that. So um, he pa he passed uh, Grell. And one more one more mission for Dan, and he's going to be at 1700. So he just needs 30 XP to basically um, finish it. I think that worked wonderful. That worked really well. Mortimer. It's a little bit uh, strangely skilled, I might uh, say. The whole thing here with the Psy Cannons, I do not believe is a good idea. The Emperor's Will, yeah, it's fine, but he doesn't have a lot of uh, willpower at the moment. So what I'm thinking about is he has a rock solid uh, melee, uh, melee tree here and he has a rock solid ranged tree here. So maybe I'm doing a hybrid build where we're starting with melee. And then there we do have the defend position. You need shields for that though, so that would uh, put him very much in the melee uh, stuff. This here, however, gives him an AP back. This here gives him an ranged AP back, and both of the, it is really, really good. Here we do have a guaranteed crit into uh, some bleeding and even more crit damage. So. Yeah, we're, we're going to take this and all of the crit uh, damage. That, that is just good. It's a good uh, set of uh, or notes. And uh, this here, the act activation for an additional stun. Hell yeah, that's good as well. All right, as for our apothecary, I mean, one of the things that we could do is we can, uh, could let her get into the Iron Arm, but we didn't want to do that. We rather wanted Ruthless Precision ourselves. If we crit, that would be good. And Knight gets three additional crit damage with their melee attacks. That plus sometimes uh, gaining our own uh, warp speed by Mancy isn't too bad. It's not bad at all. And the only other question then would be... What are we going to do with the last uh, points? What we could do relatively easy is gain that movement speed, which is a very, very nice uh, boon. And then we could go for more will points, because that's always helpful. or uh, that uh, sympathic boon uh, a little bit longer but i like the build it started out a bit weird but it uh, worked out quite well we could also of course go for iron arm discipline but yeah nikki's dealing some decent damage uh, himself now and i'm excited because soon uh, all of these guys will be uh, leveling up now, as for the ship status, let's do the quicker repair. More void shields means more good. Can't reach this in time. Too bad. Too bad. Let's get better Void Shields. And regain our Hull Integrity. Because we're not doing that super well. One of our brothers has been called to join the Paladins. He will require time off ship to complete his training. Have you taken leave of your senses? All of your knights are essential to this campaign. This is an important rite of passage for our brother. A paladin could prove useful, even if we must do without him for some time. Commander, if this knight insists on proving his valor, why not direct him to fight the Bloom instead?
Uh, who is Linus? Uh, Good. I will direct him to an appropriate target. All right, wait. Who is gone? Linus. Linus, Linus, Linus is our apothecary. Oh, that's Lena, but Linus. Okay, my bad. No, we didn't want uh, Linus to convert from apothecary to basically something else. No, that's good. Um, that's very good. Fantastic. My prognosticers report that you have yet been unable to make further progress against these Reapers. Though the Augurs fail to mention her by name, my suspicion is that it is this Inquisitor who hinders your operations. What say you, Commander? I respect your candor, but question whether Brother Ektar was right to raise you to command. Oh, Bring wow. me those Reaper's heads and prove yourself worthy of Agravain's legacy. We must increase our pace, Commander. There is far more than our honor at stake here. Well, wonderful. Uh, I don't need uh, higher level knights. We're good. In terms of research, we now have yet another stratagem use, which is great. I like that. Um, continuing the other stratagems, there are a couple of good ones that I still want to test. Yeah, we're not we're not going anywhere near that warp storm. Uh, we already know that there is going to be a blooming up here. So might as well move to here because this will be a Morbus Gate soon. Precision Bombardment. I like it. Uh, we don't have enough seats to get this one. Good, new bloom activity. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, that would be Grimoires. A melee weapon for, I think that's a chaplain. Level 3 war gear, which would be helpful. And we got ourselves a Justicar. Okay, cool. Then what do we have here? Got ourselves a Paladin. Bit of power armor. What do we have ourselves here? Apothecary and 20 servitors. The servitors will be helpful. Um... 30 days left, which means if I was to go to here, we potentially can still make it there. Am I right? I think I'm right. This will, the clash here will cost us something, but I'm not yet sure what it is. I thought a little bit about it. It's one of those situations where we have one hull integrity. I have no idea what's going to happen if we run into another one of these. We could just fly over there uh, get our servitors and have a decent mission and I think that's what we're going to do is it cool no but is it the only thing that uh, we can do at this point yes hull integrity was just too low
And we need more servitors anyways. Also, we need blue and uh, purple uh, spawns. And this year has both of them. Fantastic. All right, if we do this, Without any mastercrafted uh, melee weapon, we would get one extra requisition. I do not want to do that without a mastercrafted melee weapon. Uh, that would be a really bad idea. But if we just get one requisition, we can still get a skull and maybe a weapon for the chaplain. Because we don't have a chaplain weapon so far and this might be a good uh, option. Plus, uh, now apothecary, we, we don't even have uh, uh, space in our uh, in our in uh, um, barracks. So these things have worked very well for us. Uh, did I like the uh, vulnerability skull? I think I did. Four charges of it is plenty, and it seems like a good skull. Uh, to me I, it seems like a good skull to me uh, the next job for us now would be uh, Dan only th uh, needs 30 XP so he's almost there um, getting Nikki over the hump as well and then we're almost done I think Grell will automatically get uh, experience so that would be fine and for now we're actually in a good spot this is maybe the last mission with that team composition depending on how um, on how we're doing our job is to eliminate seed carriers so that's perfect with a librarian um, and if we do our job well 300 experience on the librarian around 170 experience on Nikki so maybe I can calculate that during the mission uh, then 30 Nikki 170 and then the rest uh, to the librarian anyways once we're done with that um, since we haven't upgraded our barracks yet uh, due to ship repairs I think what we're going to do next would be uh, the ranged team which is L, um, which is our interceptor here plus two Pugies plus um, our just just a car that'll be an interesting team completely different team comp uh, a little bit more thought needs to go into it and I will build that up uh, once once we can uh, field this team but let's first uh, get our brothers to level 9 it's cool to see that we have like a complete uh, team of level 9 characters and even a spare interceptor and then on top of it we're getting another level 9 team that's not bad i like it uh want to try the new classes a little bit more i think the paladin does have uh, potential with his extra stun uh, every little stun counts and if you get an extra stun that's good i think what we need is um, for the stun team to work we need a bit better equipment that actually facilitates even more stun damage at the moment we're dealing far too much damage compared to uh, to the stuns that we're doing so enemies are just dying too fast anyways that's the thought process for today thanks a lot for watching if you enjoy warhammer 40k chaos gate leave a comment and a like down below and may the emperor be with you bye bye